Uh, Seton, what's the poll question we're going to go with today? Dan, I put up there, worst call this weekend. Mm. Roughing Tom Brady. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater being held out of the game. Okay. Uh, the Chargers on fourth down. Brandon Staley, good grief. Uh, or checking Joe Musgrove's ears. Yeah, that was, that the, was fun. The Mets and the Padres. And um, here's Buck Showalter, the Mets manager, on uh, having them check the pitcher, Joe Musgrove's ears, because they appeared shiny last night. You know, we have privy to a lot of things that uh, point that direction. Obviously, you know, I, I love him as a pitcher. I always have. And uh, that's the only thing I kind of, you know, I feel kind of bad about is that it, but it won't cast anything. He's too good a pitcher and they're too good a, you know, there's, you know, I'm charged with doing what's best for the New York Mets. And if it makes, you know, however it might make me look or, uh, or whatever, I'm going to do that every time and live with the consequences. I'm not here to not hurt somebody's feelings. Here's Joe Musgrove, the uh, Padres pitcher talking about having his ears checked. Uh, I think he was checking for some kind of substance that was helping me spin the ball or something. Um, I've seen it before. I think he's done it before. But um, I don't have much to say about it. It was, you know, at the point in the game when it when it happened, I was so dialed in already. All my pitches felt good. I felt like I was executing, so it almost just kind of lit a fire under me. It was came out, told me Buck wanted to check, you know, my face, my glove, my hat. But, yeah, at that point I was so dialed in and, and so focused on, on getting outs, it didn't really, you know, affect me too much. It's a compliment to the pitcher. He's throwing a one-hitter. And you can't beat him. And now you're trying to do something to disrupt him. And it didn't work last night. But this was on social media. Before Buck goes out and checks on him, social media was already talking about his ears. They were like, what's up with his ears? Now they're pronounced, but they're shiny and red. And there were a couple of times where Musgrove goes to his ear. And, you know, pitchers have all these nervous tics. You know, I'm always going to my hat. I'm going to my, my jersey, my belt buckle, my glove, whatever it might be. And Buck thought, okay, there's something going on here. And called him on it, and it didn't work out. The bigger picture here is all of a sudden, you got a lot of questions for the New York Mets in the offseason. Jacob DeGrom going to stay there? Max Scherzer, you going to still be able to squeeze another year out of him? Is uh, Steve Cohen, their owner, going to spend some money here? Uh, Would they go after Aaron Judge? And then you have the Padres. Padres and the Dodgers. We thought we were going to have this. Now, you don't have Tatis, and uh, that obviously is a, uh, a big loss there. And the Dodgers have owned the Padres. But watching last night, or, you know, with what happened with uh, Musgrove's buck going out there, give credit to the Padres. When you, you know, I do like the format that if you have a better record, you get all three games. You can host all three games if it goes three games in, in the best of three. Well, you have Scherzer and DeGrom. You're ready to go. And then all of a sudden you go, we're in trouble here. And then we're, we're desperate here. And all of a sudden, Musgroves is out there and he's dealing and there's nothing you can do. Let's try to disrupt him. And it happens. You know, managers will do this and, and coaches do this. Like, how do I disrupt the rhythm of somebody? And especially a pitcher. Disrupt him. How do I disrupt him? Well, they did their best. It didn't work out. Yeah, Marv. Well, we've had the same criticisms for the Padres because, you know, Tatis got suspended, but they went out and got Soto. And they spent a million, a billion dollars on Machado. Yeah. We have said they spent all this money for nothing now because they were out in the wild card round too. Well, I, I think there's always this impression the Padres are a big market team, but they did spend money like a big market team. And I think we would have looked. Now, the Mets, it felt like because if you're in the New York media, New York area, oh, do they want the Mets to succeed? Oh, do they want them to succeed? And then all of a sudden it's see ya. <laughs> to use a, a Michael K home run call for the Mets. See ya. 2022 Mets. Yeah. Uh. But they were in first place. They won 101 games. And then all of a sudden the Braves sneak in. Then the Braves get a bye. The Mets are playing. We got our pitchers. We're ready to go. And then you're not ready to go. 
By the way, the Dodgers went 14-5 and five against the Padres in the regular season. Dodgers scored 847 runs. Padres scored 705. The Dodgers also, the lowest team ERA in baseball. Well, the Padres ranked 11th. But uh, this is the first playoff, uh, home playoff game that the Padres will have at Petco. You have to go back to 2006. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stat of the day. Stat of the day. Here comes that one. What? Stat of the day. 